In August this year, the Karanar Trust celebrated its 21st anniversary at the London Buddhist Centre. And as part of the celebration, there was a presentation to Kula Mitra by Priyananda. I'd like you to, Kula Mitra, to accept this uh, token of our appreciation. It's a small token of our appreciation for what you've done in setting up Aid for India and the Karanar Trust. Thank you very much. Thank you. Effectively, it would have been less than four years after I got involved in the FWBO when I first started work on Karanar, because, of course, it was Aid for India when it was founded. 21 years ago, it was set up as Aid for India. The India connection wasn't mine at all. Um, Lokomitra had gone out to India a year or two previously, probably two years. I think he went out in 77 may have been 78. Anyway, I do remember seeing him leave in his yellow robes from the LBC and, uh, you know, with an escort of battered old cars and transit buses that, you know, people around the LBC had in those days to give him a farewell. And that was his leaving for India. And I heard through Sabuti that Lokomitra desperately needed money to start social work in India. And Sabuti made it very clear and didn't take much imagination to realise that the very poor and deprived and repressed community that they were working with in India had serious social difficulties as well as needing the Dharma. They needed help with those social difficulties. So Sabuti encouraged me to see if I could raise money. And uh, he asked me if I would try and raise £50,000 for Lokomitra. And both of us laughed because it just seemed an impossibly large sum of money. But uh, I said, OK, it's crazy, but I'll have a go. Uh, uh, right, uh, first knock, uh, first appeal, actually. Uh, first appeal, first knock, uh, first day. First day, uh, first street. First street doesn't look too bad. Uh, and first house, first house, right. Uh, here we go. Uh, uh, bag, sack, my, my. Uh, right, first thing, uh, check, checklist. Uh, first thing, checklist. Uh, uh, yes, checklist. Uh, first thing on checklist, checklist. <laughs> checklist, uh, checklist. Good, and then a uh, gift aid form. Gift aid forms, yes, never know, we might need those. <laughs> I realised quite early on that we would need a separate charity and that was relatively easy to set up. Um, how to fundraise was the real problem. I didn't have the skills myself personally. I was in contact with Tim Lilly who had been a professional fundraiser and eventually I asked him if he would join me and it's really when he agreed and we came together as a team that the fundraising started effectively and we recruited volunteers from all around the movement, trained them up, showed them how to actually knock on people's doors and ask for money. And that's what really started to work for us. Hello? Yes? Oh yeah? From a charity? Huh? Very nice, yes. What's it called? Karina? What's that mean? <laughs> the aims and objectives have developed, but I don't think they've really changed that much. In the UK, we're still basically a fundraising charity. The main change is that we raise a lot of money and we want to raise a lot more money. I said that we started out with an aim of raising £50,000. I think by the end of this year we'll probably have raised £10 million and it looks as if the charity will raise very nearly a million pounds this year. So the, the, the team some time ago took on the aim of raising a million pounds a year so that we could do so much more work in India. Uh, put me down, yes, a uh, uh, £10 bill? Oh, very nice. Uh, yes, you, uh-huh. Uh, you'd like, well, they'd like to contribute too, yes. Um, all right, fine. Uh, you're doing the 25 pound one. <laughs> well, how's that going to make me look? 
<laughs> yes, well, just put us down for the 35. <laughs> yes, right, fill in. Yes, have you got a form? Yes, certainly. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, good. And, oh, yeah, and, uh, fine. and oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, right, uh, well, we'll be he hearing from you then. The celebration continued at the Wild Cherry restaurant next door. Many of the guests were people who have been involved with the charity over the years and included an evening of talks, presentations and performances. <laughs>